It is 640 right now. A family feud is putting the future in question about the Baltimore Orioles staying in Charm City. The Baltimore Banner was the first to report about a lawsuit that was filed by Lou Angelos against his brother John and his mother over equal control of the team. WMAR 2 News Mark Roper is live outside of Oriole Park at Camden Yard. So big lawsuit here, Mark. What exactly is at stake for the family and the team? Good morning, Megan. Well, after the Baltimore banner broke this story, many fans started to fear that the Orioles might pull a stunt like the Colts and just pack up and leave town in the middle of the night without any warning. Now, the two sons of longtime Baltimore Orioles owner Peter Angelos are not only fighting over the future of the baseball team, but their father's law firm and the family fortune. It's believed that Peter Angelos made control of the Orioles a 50-50 split with his two sons, but Lou Angelos filed a lawsuit Thursday against both his brother and his mother because he believes his brother John is taking complete control. Lou lives in Baltimore County while John has a house in Nashville, Tennessee. And that's a concern for Lou and Orioles fans. Lou Angelos states in his lawsuit that his brother, quote, intends to maintain absolute control over the Orioles to manage, to sell, or if he chooses, to move to Tennessee without having to answer to anyone. The Lou says his brother washed his hands of his involvement with the Orioles back in 2009, but in 2017, their dad got sick. Peter Angelos then set up a trust for the family's assets and put his wife along with his two sons as co-trustees. Once John is back in the picture, Lou says his brother started making a series of business decisions affecting the team on his own. Now you can see the Paul McCartney concert is this weekend and they are already setting up with gates here and that is one thing that the brothers have actually been able to agree on that they would like to see more entertainment options here at Camden Yards. Forty Live in downtown Baltimore, Mark Roper, WMER 2 News. All right, Mark, we'll have to stay on top of that story.